Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today we're back with Superfilm Support. Remember, you gotta go to superfilmsupport.com, ask me any film questions, and I'll do my best to answer you here on YouTube. So today's question is from Sasha, a Patreon of mine, which is a way to support these Q&A kind of questions on Mondays. And he's currently shooting six by seven film, but wants to move to four by five to be able to use those movements. So he wants to shoot four by five cameras with six by seven medium format backs because four by five is not an option in this country due to price or probably availability. This is an issue that happens in many, many places. And we always forget about the film scene that there's countries that have really high film prices for four by five and even not even any options to buy four by five. So medium format on four by five cameras is a really smart option. I actually know a couple of photographers do an amazing job. Uh, and I'll leave a link below. There's one called Chema Salvans. He's Spanish. He's done the waiting game books and he shoots on a Campbell wide with a six by seven back and it's amazing. So don't think that not shooting four by five is like not a good option. Like six by seven on four by five cameras is amazing. So he's asking for basically that uh, camera price that's not too expensive. And he says he's okay with the price range of Chamonix cameras, which are around 1.3 thousand euros here and he but he wants something a little cheaper if there is and then he wants a six by seven back that will slide in so he can break it down and set it up faster so in that category we're going to start first with four by five cameras so the chamonix line is amazing i really enjoy it you've seen me guys talk about it many times i would say like the n1 or n2 are great uh beginner cameras price wise not in terms of use wise they can do everything you want they just take a little bit more finessing to do the same thing as the f2 for example but they're great and they're cheaper and if you can find one secondhand even better but then don't forget there's some uh, large format cameras that are not exactly monorails and they're field, but they're metallic and they're pretty good cameras. For example, the Toyo 45A, 45A2, that one's a little more expensive. Then you have the Horseman 45FA, which is pretty good. I just checked Japan, they're 699 for a pretty mint one. Uh, and I say pretty mint, they're not perfect, but they're pretty look good looking. Uh, then you have also the Vista, uh, which is W-I-S-T-A and they have multiple models the vx uh, i think is the dx and there's other ones you can check it on ebay i recommend if you can find it locally better but it's hard to find four by five gear if you're in europe uh, not a lot available so yeah those are cameras that i would recommend and they're around 400 to 600 euros which is a great price for a four by five they won't have a lot of movements but if you're shooting six by seven on four by five, you probably will use some movement, but nothing too crazy, unless you want to do architecture, then get something that can have a back bellows. Some of those Vista cameras can do back bellows. Don't know about the rest, but don't quote me on that one. And then we move on to the six by seven back. There's multiple options in the market. I will first name the ones that will not slide in the back. And this is something I haven't exactly confirmed with every back available, but this is something I've noticed that I think should not be slightly slid in the back. So the Horseman backs are amazing. To me, the best medium format backs for uh, large format cameras, but it doesn't really slide through the back. I don't think at least one should because also the advances on the top, it's kind of a little funky. I don't think that's meant to be done. But then there are the sighting ones, and I'm not mentioning others because I don't know many more than the Horseman. Maybe there's the Dai Yi and all these uh, Chinese brands that are making medium format backs for 4x5s. So then I would move on to the sliding ones. You have the Cinar Zoom, which is kind of expensive, but currently right now in Camera Store, which is where I'm located right now, that's why, who I work for now. Um, has one for 399 euros without the masks. So if you can live with making some sort of jerry rig mask, that would be an option, but it's a little expensive. And then you also have the Toyo uh, sliding uh, holder, and I have it here open on eBay, and they're pretty inexpensive and they are looking pretty good. I think Toyo probably makes the second best after their hors horseman. And I highly recommend this option. It does slide, it's a little chunky boy, but it works pretty good. And they're usually not too expensive at around 150 to 200 euros conversion, give or, give or take. And then there's also the Calumet uh, sliding uh, holder. And this one, I can barely find much information in the quick Google I did, 
but this one is sliding and has the adv advanced knob on the side so you can advance if you need to to the next frame so that's pretty cool so these two options don't seem too expensive and probably are easy to set up and break down if you are in a rush or maybe shooting at a place that you can't set up easily or maybe someone's going to annoy you you can break it down one recommendation from the author i mentioned before chema salvans is he uses a yellow construction uh sweater like the road construction and that gives them the option of people leaving him alone when he's shooting large format he usually gets questions like oh are you shooting this for the new road or what are they doing and he usually makes up something he actually walks around with a helmet and like a walkie talkie and fakes like he's a road worker and people leave him alone and don't usually steal his gear so that might be a good option for someone shooting in a place where it's not the best to be shooting large format so that was super film support for this week six by seven backs for four by five kind of quick swap I hope that helped you, Sasha. Uh, thank you for being a Patreon. To everybody else who wants to help me continue doing these, you can go on Patreon, support me, or do PayPal donation. That works better if you don't like Patreon by any chance. Keeps me ro rolling these videos about questions that maybe not everybody asks or finds answers online easily. I will be here back on Monday. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.